I want to set you up. Yeah. Okay. It opens with this awkward dubstep thing to get you pumped up about Israel v. Palestine. I'm the Young Turks host and creator, Cenk Ugo. Two friends of a show. I hope we can keep this, uh, the very least respectful. He put them on together because he knows they're not going to keep it respectful. You know what it is? Pierce Morgan, it's it's weird liberal bullshit, like centrist bullshit, right? Yeah. Because there's that's part he's of the a, way- He's a they, neoliberal. That's what he is. It's exactly what it is. And that's why he has a, uh, such an emphasis on, I hope we can keep this respectful because that is the whole basis of being a liberal right, yeah. is being neutral polite 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 fascism po you know the saying right what's the saying scratch a liberal and a fascist bleeds wow. holy here we go this is it the kosher sex empire that you uh, are part of okay so just for context Co a kosher sex I empire didn't, i didn't even fucking know this but yes that that's Rabbi what it was Shmuley owns and operates a kosher sex empire with his daughter and it is Real. Okay. Who are using uh, the fact that they are Jewish to shield themselves from any criticism. It's food for thought, right? And, and I think, again, there have been enough people that are speaking out about a ring in Hollywood, also a ring potentially in D.C., that we should start to ask those questions. All of us, Black, Spanish, Jewish. So she's insinuating that there's a Jewish pedophile ring ran by... It's implied, I guess. By by Rabbi Shmuley? Uh, not, no, but just but by the Jews. Da Jews. Yeah. There do happen to be a lot of Jewish people that have a lot of power that are in that ring of like pedophilia and stuff. Well, I think th the reason why that's also coming to light is because uh, a lot of people that get busted for stuff here go to Israel and they have immunity there once they, uh... they go to Israel. So there's... And that is that is like a factual thing that's happened. Yeah. So I think people use uh, kernels of truth to then like spin out into conspiracy theories, right? So that was what she said generally about Hollywood being run by a Jewish gang. But then she said this specifically about you. What are you gonna do next? You're gonna kill me? Are you gonna are you gonna kill me because I refuse to kowtow to you because I'm not fearful of you and I think it's weird that you and your daughter are promoting and selling sex toys. That's why I do you an unholy rabbi because the industrial <laughs> okay can i just say something <laughs> what's so funny about this is that candace owens deems rabbi shmuley unholy because of the sex toys yeah company with his daughter that he runs yeah and on the other hand jank thinks rabbi shmuley is unholy because of his views on gaza and israel and i think he's unholy because of both <laughs> <laughs> honestly i'm not gonna lie i definitely feel called to sample this parts of this interview for sure and put it in a song. You should. Uh, it's I, definitely made for a grindcore song. I don't care if you call it kosher sex. You're selling butt plugs on the internet. You gross me out. You disgust me. I'm a better person than you. That's it. I'm literally using this part right here. You sell butt plugs on the internet. I am literally a better person. Like I'm using this. I am better than you. <laughs> That is, that is that's what's so happening. Funny. That's what's happening. First of all, uh, saying that I would fracture Candace Owens, who is the queen of American anti-Semites relations with this community, she is being condemned. Well, she, she emphatically by every denies being anti-Semitic. Her boss is uh, Benjamin Shapiro, and most of her coworkers are Jewish. Over at the Daily Wire, sure. she can deny that. Let's just go through it. She defended. Oh yeah, she's about right. He's about to talk about the Kanye stuff. All right. Kanye West's love of Hitler repeatedly. She says that Israel is guilty of a genocide, just like Cenk Igor. You know, by the way, Cenk, you and I should have a beer sometime. Maybe you'll understand why Jews are so Get his name right. His name is Cenk Yugo. I told you three times now. Actually, Piers told him four times. I counted. Wow. Again, it's just I disrespectful. We should have a beer sometime. It is. Because we Jews, we Jews are tired of the lies that we're murderers. I'm killing Candace Owens. And by the way, I've noticed something very interesting, not with Cenk, but with Mohammed Ijab, who I, who I debated on your show and now with Candace Owens. They have an obsession with Jewish sex. It's a perverted obsession. <laughs> this is what she says that the first lady of France has, has male genitalia and testicles and says as a man, she said that she would stake her whole reputation on that last week. But it's the Jews. I'm a child of divorce. The big problem of marriage today is not novelty items that might bring passion back to a monogamous relationship so it's no longer monotonous. The big problem with marriage is adultery. It's husbands who are addicted to porn. It's people like Candace Owens who sex shame people who want to have an erotic, passionate marriage. And the fact that, that Candace Owens is calling Jews in Hollywood murderers who are running a sex ring. Okay, but what about the company you have with your daughter where you sell butt plugs? And what about the 
Jewish pedophiles that do exist that are helping running. I mean, there's Gentiles involved in these pedophile rings as well, of course. Of course. But there are people that have, you know, went to Israel so they could get out of being in bad guy prisons here. Can we just take a step back here? Yeah. What was he trying to insinuate with Candace Owens' obsession with Jewish sex? She's obsessed with Jewish sex. It's perverse? It's perverse. What the fuck is he talking about? Because she's talking about his butt plug company. But he's insinuating that there's like this long line of of people using Jews as like disgusting beasts while lovemaking. What? Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. You see now. what I'm saying? Which I've never heard that narrative before. That's what I'm trying to get get at. Like that's what, interesting. What what like uh, I, I'm gonna play it again so you can hear okay. what you, you, Yeah. They have an obsession with Jewish sex. It's a, <gasps> an obsession with Jewish sex. Perverted obsession. A perverted obsession. Yeah. What does that even mean? What do you mean? I've never heard this narrative that people are obsessed with Jewish sex. This perversion, perversion. with Jews having sexuality together. I was like, black people have been sexualized. In certain exactly. ways. That's what, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, what are you talking about? People like Candace Owens who sex shame people who want to have an erotic, passionate marriage. Se- and the- I don't disagree with him there. Be- sure. Because she is uppity and conservative and like uh, totally oh, sanct- big sanctimonious, yeah. right? About I mean, like, she- I am better than you. That's why I'm going to sample it. It's going to be so good. Candace Owens is calling Jews in Hollywood murderers who are running a sex ring, which she said. See, that's where it starts to muddy the waters, right? She's not blanket stating all fucking Jews in Hollywood are running a pedophile ring. She's saying, eh, maybe, uh, maybe they're looking the other way. Maybe they're right. Terrible things do happen in the world. That is. Yeah, I just feel like the waters are so muddy at this point that like what's true anymore? Well, I think I think it's intentional at this point. I feel like that he's muddying. Yeah, well, in political discourse in general. Yeah. At this point, feels like it's meant to be it's all muddy, it's all murky. True. It's all rage farming. True. And it's meant to distract you. True. And it's meant to waste your time and energy to like get you to get you hot under the collar. Male black artists and get them having sex with children so that they can black so that's kanye's theory right Con- from kanye's viewpoint uh-huh it's these jews that are like getting black they're signing black artists uh-huh and getting them to do these freak off deals with puff daddy to make them stars and shit uh-huh. and it's like have there been many jews behind the scenes that have done that yes yes <laughs> like it's that Yes, but but there have also been fucking Gentiles and m- black men and probably less Latino men that have taken part of that, right? Like we can we can crunch the numbers and figure the shit out. Probably not that it matters, but we could. And when you do so, you're gonna see that. Yeah, he's clearly not saying all Jews. Yeah, once again, it's not all Jews, but the people that we that are that are the ones there are, happen to be jewish but it it is just who has more access to power and who's in right. that business and behind the scenes right sure exactly but it's not you can't conflate the two points exactly it's like because jewish people as a whole are disproportion disproportionately have access to resources that makes it so that they're going to be in those kind of situations where some of them are going to be scumbagging and take advantage of yeah. y- of young kids right yeah do you yeah. see what I'm saying? It's not because of their Jewishness. It's that, not because of yes, their Yes, it's not that. That's race. not why. That's not why. Yeah. <laughs> having a psychotic breakdown in public, and it's tragic. Are you it, not it, having it, one right <laughs> now, sir? Are, oh, my. Are you not having one right now, is this sir? Not, is this not the clearest case of projection you've ever seen? I, that man is a projector. I just, I hear the sound. But why does her psychotic breakdown have to come out in the form of a blood libel against Jews, that Jews are murderers. Why doesn't she hate men? And- this blood libel thing. Nice. Why doesn't she hate Mormons? All right. Why doesn't well, let she hate Buddhists? Or- let me she ask- doesn't hate. She well, doesn't. <laughs> There's so many conflations happening. There's so much. I mean, but I, I see this with, with anybody that uh, tends to be pro-Israel, right? Like Israel is Judaism. Zionism is Judaism. I mean, it's it's like hard. It's, it's the sugar that's baked into the cake. Yeah. And I think it's very hard to... It, it's it's an automatic uh, attack when I'm like, but yeah. What is your view of this? Yeah, this is actually a very important topic because unlike Candace Owens and Rabbi Shmuley, 
I make a giant, and I hope everybody does, make a giant distinction between the right-wing government of Israel and Jews across the world. Yeah. Those are two very, very different things. So if you criticize Israel, Shmuley will say you're anti-Semitic. And if you say, hey, they have killed over 12,000 children, which is yeah. just a fact. It it's is a, a fact. fact that the whole world agrees on. Yes. He will say it's blood libel. But no, but that's it's the government. We have to be able to criticize the name government. One source. Hold on. What? Name, name one about source. To that's name finish, one source please. that isn't Hamas. It's not a fact. He's actually about it's to defend you, I think. You can't so just blood libel the Jews. There is not one source that says. What? what? How, the how, Israel, how, the how Israeli government. The Jews? But also, this guy's Rabbi Shmuley's crazy. The Israeli government has also been like, "Yeah, we we admit that these amount like, the, what? These numbers aren't coming out of nowhere. The Israeli government has returned bodies. Yeah, yeah. Just the, no, there's a registry of people. Of course, Gaza's very is it Newsweek, is it monitor. Of course, who said the Jews killed twelve thousand Jews, uh, children of Hamas uh, in in, uh, in Gaza? Freudian in slip there. Yeah, every news. <laughs> Literally every name news one, organization name one. Since in the every, world. Name one. New York Times, one. CNN, human rights groups, World uh, United Nations. Every that single organization says. That is a complete says, lie. The New York Times said they are quoting okay, Hamas right. figures. You are lying yeah, to yeah, your yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they never yeah, said yeah, it. Quote yeah, the date. No, no, Quote the okay, date. I know. He said uh, every news source secretary, you can't name one. Actually, for the, record, for the record, multiple, multiple respectable news agencies around the world and news organizations yes. have all said that the number of children killed in Gaza is at least as many as 10,000, probably 12,000. How the fuck does this guy have the nerve to say that it, it's and a lie? It's like a conspiracy. Qu <laughs> quoting Hamas figures or quoting independently verified? Yeah, quoting the Hamas-run uh, Palestinian uh, Hamas health yes, authority. I know. Okay, so quoting Hamas. So yeah, at least yeah. say that. Okay. Fair but enough. They are Hamas accepted, they are the accepted killed, by okay. independent organizations. Anyway, Cenk, you were about to say no, something about nobody the Nobody accepts Hamas figures. I would like this guy's delusional, man. To sit here and just say that it's a lie? That everything's a lie? <laughs> well, he keeps saying it, it's it's a uh, it's independent, like it's it, it's based on yeah. Uh, Hamas health yes, authority. I know. Okay, so quoting Hamas. So yeah, let me yeah. say that. Okay. Fair enough. They are accepted, they are accepted by okay. independent organizations. Anyway, check. You were about to say no, something about nobody the accepts. Like independent organizations are verifying that the yes. information is true. Yes. There's other. There's other international groups that are that are that are verifying this. These numbers aren't coming out of nowhere. And why would New York Times? What what advantage do they have? When they they're historical historically pro Israel, why would they release the numbers if they weren't true being pro Israel? Exactly, it doesn't make any sense. If anything, that I there, there's still a way that like a lot of these like mainstream publications uh, word things right yeah. to downplay. Yeah, uh, like uh, what what's happening right? Like the what, there's like there's there's been studies on this too right when. It happens uh, in America too, just like the way that journalism, right? When they refer to like a civilian, or they, or they say murdered or killed, or it's like a casualty, yeah. right? There's like a like a clinical drier term that they use when they're trying to downplay black and brown death, versus when like you know, other people were savagely murdered, right? Yeah. Um. So these these numbers are being verified by multiple different groups different sources and i still think that they they still err on the side of caution right yeah like everybody's still everybody's still very careful about the words that they choose even when speaking on the numbers correct uh you know it's it's very hard to get a politician to say the word genocide for sure right like they'll be like mm, yeah 12,000 kids are dead but we're like uh it's still a conflict right it's a conflict. It's a war, right? I'm like a war against who? These motherfuckers don't have weapons, baby. Right. They, they they got they got shitty little rockets and like guns that they have to assemble together. Like they don't have weaponry, right? Like we're the America is funding lots and lots of money into these these uh, weapons, and it's just it's it's very telling, right? That even the mainstream publications like aren't saying this, but this man, this man is like living in, like uh, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what planet he's on. So, Candace Owens' critique of Israel is perfectly legitimate, although I hate to say that about anything Candace Owens says. But when she turns to the other topic and she starts talking about a ring of Jews inside America that control the media or politics, that is as anti-Semitic as it gets. 
That is, yeah. Is she saying there's a ring of Jews that control the media and Holly? She is and she isn't. I don't know a lot of Candace Owens stuff, but I think that she feeds into that. Uh, Feeding into an audience. Yeah. That wants her to lean into an anti-Semitic yeah. slant. But, but not like not like a heavy one. Not Well, she can't do that. Her employer is Jewish. Yeah, exactly. And her co like it. I want to get to the bottom yeah. of this at some point. Okay. One, one day. One day. Betting trope 101 right? There's no excuse for it. It's not remotely true. And by the way, you have to be a moron to believe things like that. I know the so, specific but what's not remotely? Everything's getting so blurry and the idea, gray. Now, it, it's now he's kind of going the opposite way, being yeah. like, uh, I feel like it's in order to validate his it, sentiments I, exactly. and his points totally and to right. seem once again, it's being very careful about the way that people phrase things. To not come off anti-Semitic, yeah, uh, and I get that, but I also I'm like, well, why couldn't there be? Like, there's going to be a there's weird rings of pedophiles, pedophiles everywhere. But uh, and it's we already went, we already um, we already went through went, that. went through that exactly. Yeah, like, it doesn't have to do with the Jewishness of the people. It has to do with the fact that access to power exactly, and money and exactly. the, the, the resources. Any any person that's in doing these backroom dealings and like has that kind of access to money and power, you're going to have weird corruption, right? Like, obviously not everybody that's going to have access is going to turn into a big slimy scumball, right? Yeah. But, yeah. But I feel like Jank is, is pretending as if... That doesn't exist at all. Yeah, that and that Candace imagines Jews as, as these hideous beasts making love with one another. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, I'm sure that she said other uh, anti-Semitic things, but in that specific little clip that we watched, uh -huh. she was specifically saying like we everybody should be able to uh, like it, it's not just Jews, right? Like it, it could be black people, Asian people. Um, but she is definitely specifically talking about a Jewish ring of pedophiles there because she's referring to I, I, I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch that little clip. Yeah. But uh yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So she's walking a tightrope. Is I'm that pretty your conclusion? I think she's was saying so anti-Semitic things, but like uh, under your breath. So you think she's dog whistling anti-Semitic? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And 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 so Jank is like taking her diet anti-Semitism and going over the top with like he's acting out. It's a false outrage. It, he's virtue signaling. Virtue signaling. That's what's happening here. Okay. He's like not even a drop of the diet soda. Right. Uh, I, now now I. You know what? I'm happy we fleshed this out. My point, Cenk, about the uh, her saying that Rabbi Smuley is unholy because of. Oh, I love, I love how Jake was in the middle of his stupid point that like doesn't even whatever, and then Piers was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to the dildo stuff, and Jake's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. We're like, no, the dildo stuff. The dildo stuff. Get to the dildo stuff. Oh, I couldn't care less about that. I don't care if he's holy or unholy or what he does with his sex toys. I don't care at all. That is not at all germane <laughs> to the topic. What is germane, what is germane is do not attack Jews because of the government's actions in right. Israel. Do not make assumptions about them. That is insanity and it is totally wrong. Okay. At the same time, you don't get to hide behind, well, Israel's a Jewish state so we can kill anyone we like. No, that is terrible for the Jews. Don't do that. Change, change, don't change, change. I agree. I we Jews want to be... kill anyone we want. Okay, I want to be joined now. Kill... Change, We're actually going to be... Hang on, Rabbi Shuri. We're a bit more reasonable here. Rabbi Shuri, you're going to like this because we're going to be joined by another member of your family, your daughter, Chana, who runs Kosher Sex anyway, in Jerusalem. Anyway, but Chang, thank you for saying that. Can, can, George... I just thank, can I just thank Chang for saying that? Thank you for saying that, Chang. Yeah, he was being supportive, but, but we Jews don't want to kill everybody, by the way. But we're being joined now by Chana, who is your daughter. Chana, um... Thank God we've got you Hi, to everyone. calm things down here. Uh, you you yeah, run the co kosher sex, sex in yeah, you run kosher sex in Jerusalem. The allegation from Candace Owens is that your father is unholy. I love Jank. You with this business. Your response. Just look at Jank. She's just like, what? 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 what we, this is not political all, discourse. Yeah. What, why am I, I still here? She says seriously, she'll say anything for attention. She knows nothing about Judaism, and she knows nothing about sex. Clearly. In Judaism, sex is the holiest act that two people can engage in, especially within the confines of marriage. And that's what we set out to do with Kosher Sex. This was a book that my dad wrote 25 years ago, and he wrote it to enhance marriage and to make it exciting and to use Jewish wisdom 
to keep couples connected. And I took those ideas 25 years later because sex had only taken more of a hit. Like my dad said, endless porn addiction, mm. infidelity. People have lost the ability to connect. And This popcorn is I mean, so good. It's really good. Is it's next level. Loneliness. It's the coconut oil. People are desperately, very tragically lonely these days. And to be shamed for wanting to connect with your spouse when you're married for... 20 years and want to keep it hot and want to keep it sexy. Judaism is all about that. And what are your big, biggest Very selling? Holy. What are your biggest selling product lines? Oh, well. <laughs> Did you hear that button? What, what's your big, biggest selling product? <laughs> no, no. In the background. Jenks says, can I leave now? Oh, I didn't hear it. Listen, listen really closely. What are your biggest selling product lines? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my feelings exactly. <laughs> Can I leave now? It's so good. There's just so many memes in this segment. Candace actually, I mean it's funny. She Do they she let the, she do they let him go? And defends Andrew Tate, who no. is a who just got arrested again for sex trafficking. But she called these oils that I just came out with, these beautiful arousal lubricants that are made in Israel in the Holy Land that are specifically meant to be used between couples to enhance the sexual experience, to make it more exciting, to make sex more pleasurable, last longer. And she called me, my dad. Would you, can you imagine talking about this shit in front of your parent? Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'll be but... honest, it's very Jewish. <laughs> it is. Because we everybody's just talking about everything. We're talking about our hemorrhoids, yeah. our mental health issues, yeah. what medication you're on. Yeah. So, like, ah, oh, you, you, you're stubbing your wife enough? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're not stubbing your wife enough. Oh, well, you know, he's got a limp dick, you know. The med his medication m makes it so his dick doesn't get hard anymore. Right. And you're like, whoa. I, I mean, so it doesn't seem like a stretch, but it's also pretty funny. Yeah and these products filth one word to millions of people filth so well I'm, i forgot the question what did you ask? well no you answered the question that's obviously one of your biggest selling lines <laughs> but, <laughs> but but rabbi smooley just I making mean, sure you, i'm asking the question i don't want to get yeah rabbi smooley just funny i mean do you, do you think there is something unholy about this or is sex the ultimate example of good holiness i think that sex is the ultimate form of validation because it makes you feel desired why did Pierce choose to keep Jake on this whole time? <laughs> it's such an awkward thing to do. Especially with the subject matter. Why, <laughs> Why are they keeping Jake on this Just the let panel? him go. They're not even debating anymore. It's so funny. We're talking about <sighs> Israeli lubricant. What the fuck? It's crazy. It makes you feel it's insulting. When you don't it's so fucking... If I was him, I would be insulted. I would have left. Right, he keeps saying, can I leave? Well, it's unreal. ...of Gucci or fancy clothing that your very body, your essence is desirable. And the greatest, uh, the, the tragedy of marriage is today is the loss of erotic desire. It's where husbands and wives become best friends what? and they're no longer lovers. The average American... Look at Jake. He's so fucking ready to leave. Go, bro. Yeah, just go. Just fucking go. It's because he wants to come back on Piers' show. That's why he's not leaving. But notice <laughs> that medieval Christianity really thought that sex was only procreative and that sex is only to have babies. And she's always talking about, about that. But anyone who actually wants to feel that sex is uh, fulfilling... This is nothing to do with the issue. ...catered to by okay. your wife, by your husband, so you don't have to go to, the, to, a, to, to Pornhub or anything like that. We are weaning people... Do you know Pornhub was, has been blocked in eight to nine states as of yesterday? Yep. Utah, no access. Unless you get, you know, a VPN thingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the descent into fascism is happening quickly. <clears throat> they take away your porn, then they take away your vapes. And then... Uh, well, the vapes are bad. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the heating coils uh, it's related to the the mining in Congo. It's bad. Mm. All right, I just want to ask you, how much money do you make from this? 
Well, you know, we went not enough. The, the, the kosher sex book sold well, very well. Shana, you, you know, years obviously, you run it. So, Shana, how much money do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Shana, 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 Shana. J Jank can barely hold it together anymore. He's like, this is insane. Yeah, how much do we make like kosher sex? I got nine kids, so I got to. <laughs> Rabbi Shmuley, you could you could interrupt Jank and me. You've got to interrupt your own daughter to help people. Okay, I apologize. Shana, how much money do you make? Can I leave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let him leave. tell you how much money I make. Yes. From the sex stuff. <laughs> From the I, sex stuff! I mean, I make a living. Thank From the sex stuff. Thank God. What, millions? Or what, what are we living. talking here? God no, willing. No, no we, we're we, not in the millions yet. I'm not in the millions say, yet. God willing. No, no, I could say clearly. I could say clearly. I don't make anything from it. Zero, nothing. Okay. And Hannah's let me Hannah go, is let me building go to the Cheng, company. Finally, finally like, Cheng. It needs to grow, and this is great exposure. Thank okay, you. Okay, Cheng, we, we've talked a lot of, of uh, controversial stuff and had a vigorous debate, as always, but can we end on a point of agreement here? Do you see anything in the in the kosher sex business that uh, aligns to your world values? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't care less. Uh, I, I'm just mainly looking forward to leaving now. Yeah, I would uh, do. So, no, I, I don't care about this topic at all. I don't care what he does with his dildos. <laughs> what do you, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Dildos? We're, where did, where did dildos sex come up? Holy and hot. Where, where did dildos? Did someone, did someone say dildos? I don't know. Dildos? I don't care. Like, you see, this is, <laughs> I don't know what you do. Well, I why don't did care. you bring it up? Wait, Chang, Chang, I just praise you for being one of those rare people who accused the Jews of Can genocide. Can I please leave? I don't know what bedroom. sex toys you bring sell. up Jewish dildos? Okay, we are going to... We are going to... I don't know what Why sex toys you sell. Notice how Rabbi Shmuley goes right to this... They all have this weird, perverse Perverted. obsession with Jews and sex, right? It's like, he's just taking a guess. He doesn't fucking know what you sell. He's just saying stuff to get out. <laughs> he, he, he He's wants, just saying word salad to get out at this point. He just point. wants to leave. And Rabbi Shmuley's like, you, oh. you non-Jews and your perversion. <laughs> God, we are going to release Cenk now. Why Cenk, are you bringing thank you up very much you know, indeed. You know, this is, this is the thing. <laughs> now he wants okay, to be... Well, you know, I got to... Uh, we got to leave can it Can I there. answer my question to Cenk? Can I answer the question to Cenk? Guys, Cenk, we've got to go. I'm let's sorry. Let's have a beer sometime. We've run out of time. Let's all okay. have a beer let's and talk about... Let's have a beer sometime. Uh, Jews holy, are not murderers. Holy sex, Make lubricants and dildos. Why not? When he continues to say Jews are not murderers, it's just so fucking disingenuous and like... I mean, it's it's po it's a poisoning of the well. You're just making this blanket fucking statement J that Jews around the world, such as I, are not murdered. Yeah, no one's fucking saying that. It's a straw man of the worst kind. Yeah.